For today's video, I wanted to spend some time in my bathroom and share some ways that I've been trying to be less wasteful in this space. So everything from cleaning to switching up my routine and not buying anything new until I finish everything that I have in my bathroom right now. So I'm just gonna kind of discuss a few different things that I've been switching over and that I'm gonna try to stay consistent with. One takeaway I've definitely had from this pandemic and just staying at home is how many things I can make myself. Making all-purpose cleaner is very doable, it's very easy, and it can be made with a lot of household ingredients and just also ingredients from the garden. This one's very easy, it's just a bunch of thyme from the garden. I have some lime peel, of course I used the inside of the lime and saved the outside. Cover that in vinegar and then just put that in a mason jar, let that sit. Some articles and websites and things on Pinterest will suggest letting this sit for several weeks. I personally don't like to do that because I feel like once the rosemary starts to brown, it gets a weird scent. So I do it for about 48 hours, maybe three days, and then you can strain it. I'm gonna keep the leftover rosemary and peels, and I'm actually gonna put the rest of the vinegar and that in some ice cube trays. I stick that in the freezer. I'm gonna show that in an upcoming video where I do a version of this, but in the kitchen. But right now we're gonna stick with the bathroom. So I made the lemon and thyme. And then I also on this day made a rosemary and orange for the kitchen. So basically the same thing. I took orange peels and rosemary. Either or will work for either space and you can experiment with uh, lemon if you wanted to or lime or even essential oils. I think in the fall I'll do the combination of the orange peel and actually I'll put some clove in there just so it has a little bit more spice. So I'll probably do that in the fall months. But for now I'm gonna use the lime and thyme in the bathroom. I'm just gonna spray it on the base of the bathtub, inside the bathtub, just clean it out. But it can be used for anything, for the counters, I use it for the glass, for the mirrors. In the past, I've used different cleaners for different parts of the house. And although you can definitely do that, I've just learned it's easier and less wasteful to use infused vinegar, whether it's essential oils or herbal infused vinegars, to clean multiple areas of the house. And you can use it for so many different things, whether it's countertops, or you can also use it in a mop bucket. So I could put some vinegar and herbal infusion or essential oils in there and clean the floors, the bases of the bathroom. You can also use it in the interior of your shower for the walls with a scrubber. Works really great for that as well. Can I tell you a little secret? My bathtub is mostly used by my three and six year old. I don't, I especially in the summer, don't really take baths very often. I think I did a video recently on taking a cool bath, which is still pretty rare in the summer, but that can be a nice, uh, an herbal cooling bath in the summer. It's pretty much the only thing I'd even consider, especially since lately it's been so, so hot here in California. But I will look around at my bathroom and I'll see when it's starting to need a deep clean. So around the base and the bottom of the uh, bathtub, which gets pretty dusty and uh, just all over by my vanity. It was about three years ago that I made this wood tray for my bathtub. It was super easy. I couldn't find one actually to purchase that was the right measurements. So I ended up just making one myself with one piece of wood and then two smaller pieces of wood on the bottom there to create the legs. And I love to have this as a display on my bathtub, but of course I have to take it off every time the boys take a bath. In my most recent summer self-care video, I made these DIY bath salts with herbs and flowers from the garden and then Epsom salt and some essential oils. I like to store these in glass jars on the tray. I like to have a display even though I take it away when the kids take a bath so that they have more space and that they don't have an accident. I'll keep it there when I take a bath so that I can light a candle or have a book there. It's really pretty if you have a deep soak tub, which I didn't have a deep soak tub growing up in my home. I always dreamed of having one and I didn't have one for many years when my husband and I first got married. Now that we have one, um, I like to have a tray and some type of display. My 
my sauna is another thing I am not using right now. Um, definitely not, but in the winter I like to use it. It still gets, you know, I still like to clean it because it gets splats on it or it gets kind of dusty so I can use my all-purpose cleaner. In terms of my makeup, I have these two makeup bags that I've had for years. The Trish McAvoy one that's kind of like a planner. My mom got me that when I was in high school for Christmas. And I've just tried to keep it in really good condition because I really like it for traveling. And then this Louis Vuitton I bought when I was in Europe filming a show, I think in my 20s. So I'd say with the current trend of how I try to spend my money these days, there's probably a pretty low chance I'll ever buy designer again. I've pretty much sold or donated all of my designer stuff, but Louis Vuitton feels timeless and I think that's something I'll have for the rest of my life, so I'm just gonna keep those. In my bags and my drawers and my cabinets, I do have some products that I need to finish up, and so I'm gonna finish up those products. I do have a collection of skincare gadgets, I'm gonna keep my skincare gadgets until they die or break and then properly dispose them, but I'm gonna keep them for future skincare videos, at home facials. I also wanna use more of my own herbs and what I'm growing, what I have in my house. So here in some small mason jars, I have some blue healing clay, some herbs, and some ground up oatmeal. Having some good quality oils in my cabinet and some ingredients from my kitchen and from my garden and also some essential oils, I can make some skincare concoctions. I haven't always been perfect about this. I have bought my fair share of drugstore products, shampoos, inexpensive versions, high-end versions, different hair products, different skincare products. Recently, I have been making stronger efforts to be less wasteful, so I decided to try shampoo and conditioner solids. So they're bars, just like a soap bar, and there's one for shampoo and one for conditioner. So I tried out these by Earthlings, and they work really great. I've been letting my hair air dry. They smell incredible. There's the Citrus Dream and then the Coconut Vanilla Conditioner. Um, it's a little getting used to, you know, sometimes they, they slide out of your hands or you have to store them on a little dish soap rack. I also know that depending on your hair type and texture, it may not work for you. So far these have been working great for me and so I feel like instead of running out to the drugstore or to a nice store to get shampoo, I'm gonna try to do this more consistently and see how I like it over time. Another simple easy switch that takes a little getting used to but also is easy to switch the whole family over to is bamboo and compostable toothbrushes, which I also found on Earthling. Now if making your own toothpaste sounds too crazy for you, you can always make this recipe if you're in a pinch, like you're out of toothpaste, or you can switch between toothpaste from the store and this. Like every other brush, you can utilize this. It's basically equal parts coconut oil, baking soda, and a few drops of peppermint oil. It's really easy to make. I can put some on my toothbrush usually with a little popsicle stick. You can use this along with your toothpaste to kind of reduce your toothpaste use and how often you have to buy a new one, um, but also just as an additional refresher as well. That's a little bit more of a natural option. Another switch up that's worth getting used to is bamboo cotton reusable makeup wipes and toner wipes. So you can wash these, it comes in a little mesh bag. The other thing to consider with this switch up is that it's not quite as convenient in the sense that you want to keep track of the pads once you're done using them, put them back in the bag and then wash them. It's not too hard of a switch up once you get used to it. These can be used for removing makeup but they can also be used with a toner. I like to use them with witch hazel or maybe a little coconut oil, but they're reusable, which is great, and I feel like it's well worth it just to keep track of them and wash them. Mm -hmm. 
Another easy and less wasteful switch up is to make your own foaming hand cleanser. So you can get these mason jar foaming soap dispensers or just the tops, just the foaming tops if you already have the mason jars. But you can find these on Amazon as well. And then you can reuse them over and over again. If you buy your castile soap in bulk, you can do unscented castile soap and add your own essential oil blends. One thing to keep in mind about castile soap, it's kind of like a concentrate, so it can be very strong, especially in certain scents like the peppermint. So just please be careful when using it on young children or on yourself. Remember that it's a concentrate, and right here I have a little less than half a cup, and then the rest is water. And if you want, you can add a few drops of essential oils. And then moving on, I'm going to be making a room spray. This is sage and rose. It's going to be for the bathroom, and it's basically just a homemade room spray. I have some dried sage and rose from the garden. I added some warm water, basically brewing it like a tea. And then I'm going to strain it into a glass spray bottle. And then I added just enough liquid, and then as you can see from the shoulder all the way up, it's empty in the bottle. I'm going to add witch hazel to the top. That's going to act as a preservative. And then at the very end, I'm going to add a little extra rose essential oil that I have in my bathroom. And then this makes for a great room spray just to freshen up the bathroom. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you could take away something from it. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you liked it as well. And I will continue to create videos and see you very soon in the next one. Thanks so much.